And welcome back. This is Bella Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. My opponent in this upcoming match is Chill Ninja. Chill Ninja is ranked second in his platinum division. 3,108 points, 380 wins, 350 losses. And here we are in the game. I have spawned as the Red Terran in the southeast up against Chill Ninja. He is the blue Protoss player in the southwest. The map is Typhon Peaks? Typhon? Typhon? Not exactly sure how to say it. But it is a new map. One, This was actually the first time that I had played on it. So I'm not exactly sure exactly how everything gets played. We have huge dest destructible rocks here guarding the natural. It's kind of a safe natural. Safe-ish. You know, there's one, two, three, four entrances into the natural. But really, um, you know, three of them can be guarded pretty pretty much like that. You know, just got to keep an eye on your ramp. This is more of a backdoor entrance into your main base than anything else. Uh, quite a bit of room here, uh, guarded behind the uh, tall grass, I guess you would call it. So, yeah, one, one two, three... Uh, bases here, so this, your third's pretty safe. It's a very safe third, actually. Um, so this is kind of geared towards a three base play. Got the fourth base here between the two of us. We don't know that yet, though. It's a, not a high yield, though. I, you would expect a high yield there, but there's no high yield, no rocks or anything like that. This is actually a very tough fourth base here because you will need army here to defend it but then your your opponent can go that way so it's a interesting map different layout not exactly what I'm used to here what's going on in the game we do have a gateway on the way look at that it is about the same time as my barracks I've been noticing that a lot with Protoss players lately that their gateways are going up about the same time as my my barracks. I, it's weird. And what's this? Oh man, look how far behind I've fallen. Oh, no refinery yet? I have a supply depot. He's not, This guy's not doing anything. He's going for his second barracks. What? I, how am I supposed to do this without a refinery? Oh, I'm joking you guys. You guys know me better than that. I'm going for a two racks expansion here. If uh, you saw this in-game, either assume uh, an insane amount of marines coming your way, or an expansion. And I pretty much don't go for cheese. Uh, this is how I've been doing the 2 racks expansion lately. Don't get the gas, pretty much at all. Just keep pumping out marines, that is all I want right now. He is going to spot the bunker here, so he knows exactly what's going on. He knows that I'm going for a 2 racks expansion. He did get in in time to see that barracks up. So I get the bunker up first and then I send the guy in to get the expansion. So now I have a bunker, two racks, and an orbital command. Getting the, the gas now, this is a little bit later than I would like to get it, but that's, well, that's when I got it this time, you know, always trying to tweak the build just a little bit. It is relatively new to me. And it's something that I'll probably end up doing a lot more lately because uh, especially on these new maps or the four player maps against a diamond player I cannot seem to win with the three racks anymore so gonna have to change that gonna have to go for the two racks expansion which seems to be the best build right now I, I have been playing very well against Protoss players lately um, I, I think you guys have noticed that actually uh, I, I did have lost a, a couple games just you know, they, it was more of a matter of me losing because I ended up with way too many minerals than I should than the other guy winning. So I, I don't feel that it's something that I want to cast. Um, you know, let me know if you guys want me to show all the horrible games that I play uh, when I lose, and it's obviously my fault. And, you know, when the player just doesn't absolutely crush me, let me know, because as of right now, I'm, I'm keeping those out. I am also keeping out the games where I obviously completely outclass the other player, and it's just a simple, you know, I push, or, um, 
you, you know what I mean. I, I push and he went for a build that was not ready to handle, you know, a three racks, you know, five, six minute games. Uh, well, not five, six minutes real time, about eight or nine minutes game time. Those kind of games I don't really want to show either. He does have an observer going my way. I hate observers so much. He's on two gate robo, which is kind of surprising knowing that I went for the two racks expansion. He definitely should know I went for that. Uh, he will see it now. Uh, as you can see, I did get the three racks up. Going for two more barracks here because I have a lot of minerals and gas right now. This is not where I want to be right now. So I'm trying to get that number down. Going for stim pack. Not going for concussive shells yet. Apparently, I should. Uh, looking at the army count, he does have a huge army compared to mine. I mean, he's got four sentries, uh, three stalkers, or sorry, four stalkers, three zealots, and an immortal. That is definitely enough for a push, and it looks like he is not going for that. I thought he was. He's actually going to try to secure his own expansion here. Uh, another immortal pop out. Once that pops out, he should be moving out. This is, this is not an army that you need to be scared of. It seriously isn't. But look at that production line. This is kind of what I'm known for, I guess. Uh, even against other Terran players, I, I've noticed that they don't have the production line that I do. Uh, Supply Depot, Factory, uh, SCVs, uh, Marines, Marauders, Stimpak, Concussive Shells, Terran Weapons, Level 1, Terran, did I say? Yeah, Terran Infantry Weapons. Don't try to read and then take it away. It's not a good idea. Um, you know, as opposed to him, he's getting a robotics, uh, robotics bay, so we are going to be seeing Colossi out on the field, and a Nexus, and a Probe, and that's it. You know, I know he's a Protoss player, but, like, dude, I've, I've had so much more of this entire time. I am getting a missile turret up here, because I did spot that Observer, um, and I am scared of Dark Templars. I actually lost the other, uh, not the other day, it was today. Uh, yeah, I dropped a scan. I, I did not want that thing to live. Uh, but the missile trope probably would have been up in time to take it out. A hallucination is being researched. We don't see that very often. I don't know if I actually knew that that happened in the game. Uh, but yeah, Dark Templars, I lost to... Um, well, I went for a three racks on um, Slag Pits. And it was up, up, up against a Protoss player obviously, and I did massive amounts of damage, so I felt safe in securing my expansion, building up an army, so I got to about 126 five, you see right now I'm about 91, and then I went for a move out, and he came in with six Dark Templars, and I didn't have a single missile turret up. I, I was not playing well today. Um, was it today? I can't even remember anymore. I am tired, you guys, sorry. Uh, so Colossus is on the way. It's almost done. Uh, he has quite a large army here all spread out. Uh, he doesn't know that I've mo moved out? No, no, he doesn't. Thermal Lance upgrade is on the way. I'm going for my third base here because, once again, it's a very safe base to get. Stimming up and him being split like that is going to work in my favor, but those force fields are not. Sniping down the Colossus, then just uh, stimming up and kind of working on this other left. But he GG's! And, and that's the game? Like, he just did not care. Um, if he had stayed in the game, he probably could have taken out this army. Um, so I'm not exactly sure why he left so quickly. I mean, this Immortal already has four kills. Remember how much damage that does. Another Colossus is on the way. Um, he had enough for stalkers and zealots. Uh, I, I just don't understand why he left so early. I mean, I am ahead, you know. I, I have a lot of stuff here. But he was far from out of it. If he got that Thermal Lance upgrade, uh, did some work with those Colossi, he could have definitely come in the game. I mean, he definitely had some time to re-get to, to, to re-get, yes, that's a word, uh, to get that army back up to where it needed to be. Um, but yeah, that that was the game. I, I, I don't exactly know why he left so early. Uh, just, I guess, didn't want to postpone the inevitable, but I don't think it was inevitable. Um, 
Yeah, let's look at the income. You know, he's pretty much still in it. I am going for my third third base here, but you know, we're pretty much even right there. Um, yeah, going for that. And that's pretty much it, because I fell apart because I was shocked at the GG um APM. He crushed me, of course. Spending. See, once again, I love the idea of this, but it just doesn't work in practice, you know? My army was smaller than his. Um, he, I spent more on technology and the economy. He just lost. There we go. There's a real one. Um, yeah, he, he didn't lose that much more than me. He didn't... I, yeah, I don't know. Just didn't feel like finishing out the game, I guess. Uh, but he definitely could amount a comeback. D don't just give up on games that easily. Uh, so yeah, new map, Typhon Peaks is how I'm going to call it, unless somebody corrects me. Interesting map, plays pretty well, didn't go as long as I think the game, the, the map players intended, you know. But it was a qu pretty short game, he made it very short. So I hope you guys enjoyed the game, hope you laughed, hope you learned, hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.